continuing on with native plants of the East Mountains. Mahonia repens, also known as Oregon grape, lives on the east side of the Sandia Mountains between 6,000 and 9,000 feet. Even though they're native, they will still need some extra water during times of drought. It is a broadleaf evergreen, and broadleaf evergreens are particularly susceptible to drying winds and excess heat. They need shade or part shade, which makes them perfect to plant as a ground cover under trees. Tree roots do not bother them, and growing them beneath pines works well. To protect my mahonia and get it through the winter with minimum damage, I use an anti-desiccant spray. When I don't spray, it survives, but the leaves have burnt edges and the beautiful yellow blooms are sparse. The anti-desiccant forms a protective waxy coating that prevents evaporation from leaves and stems during high wind and drought conditions. There are several on the market, but all of them include pine resin as an ingredient. Resin is a sticky sap produced by pines when they are injured and they use it as a protectant for the open wound, like a band-aid. It's collected by native bees and also honeybees to produce propolis. They mix the resin with their wax to seal hive cracks and provide antibacterial protection. If you decide to use an antidesiccant, please use it responsibly and read the directions. It only works on specific plants and I use it for two things, Mahonia repens and rose canes. In my garden design, I have used it as an understory plant underneath black locust trees surrounded by woodsy roses and dwarf sumac. I've also used it on an eastern slope as a ground cover. It's much more exposed and grows shorter there. It gets morning sun only. It also looks beautiful in my evergreen garden, just as it would under an evergreen of your own. The bit of red you see is Vermilion Bluff Salvia. The ground cover below and along the path is Woolly Veronica. Rocks and a woodchip surround completes the picture.